Exploring Micrometeorology in Plants When we think about meteorology, we envisage weather patterns spanning vast regions of Earth's atmosphere, governed by factors including air temperatures, pressures, and moisture. However, these same effects happen on smaller scales and can be studied through the field of micrometeorology. One branch of this field is plant micrometeorology, which is affected by many different properties, including how plant tissues absorb sunlight and conduct heat. Understanding these behaviors can provide insights into how plants grow, reproduce, and respond to environmental changes. These properties can be studied by measuring the surface temperatures of plants via the infrared radiation they emit. This is typically done using thermal cameras that are cooled to minimize image distortions. However, the cooling equipment is bulky and expensive. Charlotte Coates, Peter Kevin, and Ryan Byerley at the University of Guelph have developed a technique to decrease distortions without the need for cooling, which involves calibrating the camera to correct the distorted infrared. Their technology has opened up new opportunities to study unexplored aspects of plant micrometeorology. One aspect is the complex heating mechanisms within hollow stems. In 2018, Kevin presented new ideas about the processes behind these heating mechanisms and how sunlight produces a greenhouse effect within hollow stems. His team produced a new model which accounted for the influences of surrounding air, sunlight, and the stem's properties. Coates and Kevin proposed that the greenhouse effect in stems plays important roles in plant survival and reproduction in cold climates, keeping them warmer than the surrounding air. Through a field study, Dr. Kevin and his colleague Evgeny Tikmanev investigated common plant species in northeast Siberia. In this subarctic region, they discovered that hollow stems were over four times more common than solid stems. Meanwhile, both types are equally common in most other parts of the world. The air within the stems of these plants was warmer than the surrounding air, allowing the plants to reproduce in freezing weather and ensuring their continued survival. Small-scale heating can also be found in flowers. Like satellite dishes, cup-shaped flowers can focus sunlight onto small volumes of air, inducing heating. Kevin assessed how this phenomenon occurred in four flower species found in the Canadian Arctic. His observations revealed that in direct sunlight, air within the flowers was up to 6 degrees Celsius warmer than the surrounding air. This increased the number of days with above freezing temperatures by about 25%, prolonging the growing season for these plant species. These mechanisms are therefore crucial to the survival of many Arctic plants. In their latest research, Coates and Kevin also investigated the roles these plants play in their wider ecosystems. In 2020, they assessed how different insects benefit from the elevated temperatures within flowers and stems. As climate change transforms weather patterns worldwide, their research comes at a critical time. Disruptions to typical weather patterns in the Arctic and subarctic could threaten the survival of many plant species as well as the animals that depend on them. Elsewhere, warmer temperatures are providing better conditions for agricultural pests. Through a deeper understanding of plant micrometeorology, researchers would be better equipped to understand how both ecosystems and crops can be protected against climate change.